What is going on YouTube? It's Air JP back with a brand new pair of sneakers, brand new review video for you guys. This isn't going to be a performance review on these actual basketball sneakers, but it is just going to be initial overview and my actual first thoughts on the actual shoe. So before we get a look or take a look at the actual sneakers, if you guys haven't checked out any of my other videos, please do so. Smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, and definitely hit that notification bell so you know every single time that I do upload a video. Um, if you haven't followed me on Instagram either, you definitely want to do that as well. I basically post all my sneaker pickups and actually sneaker pictures on my Instagram first. Um, and my Instagram name is the exact same as my YouTube channel name, AirJP11, spelled the exact same way, so it is easy to find me on both platforms. So um, with all that being said, guys, I did want to give you a little bit of news or new information. Um, I am now writing performance reviews for Sneakers Detroit website. That is, um, I will leave their link in the description box below so you can check out the website. Um, this past week, we did get the LeBron 16 performance review up on the actual website and pretty much so far our schedule was kind of every Tuesday as long as I do have a review uh, ready at that time to post. I know that this Tuesday we are going to be releasing the Nike Adapt BB uh, performance review and you know you can definitely check it out as I said I will leave the link in the description box below. Um, it is a little bit easier for me personally. I personally like writing performance reviews a little bit better than I think visually or bringing you um, the actual performance review through a video. It just seems like it's a little bit easier for me to get the words out and explain the shoe a little bit better in writing than maybe it is um, to tell it to you through a video. So I hope you guys will um, support me in that and definitely check it out because as I said, it has been a lot of fun thus far. I've written um, reviews in the past for personal websites that I had and I just enjoyed it, did it for fun, but I think this is something that could be a little bit more uh, beneficial or go a long ways. But I definitely uh, did wanna let you guys know that information. So let's go ahead and check out what you guys are here to see, and that is the Greek Freak Ones. So first off, we'll go ahead and take a look at the box. You obviously are gonna have a new box with these sneakers. This is the first Giannis Antetokounmpo. Um, I probably always say his uh, last name horribly wrong, but it is a little bit difficult to pronounce. So this is the box for the Antetokounmpo ones um, or Greek Freak ones, whichever way you want to call it. You can obviously see the GA. This is going to be the Giannis logo um, as we are going forward. On the back of the box, you do have his signature here and then obviously his last name on this side of the box as well. So go ahead and take a look at the sizing, color code, price tag, all that good stuff. Zoom Freak 1, Total Orange, Midnight Navy. Retail on these was $120, and I did obviously get a size 11 and a half, as you guys know or can see there. So we will go ahead and take a look at the kicks. I already have them out here. Um, I did actually go ahead and play in these last night, um, and I did really, really like them overall. But as I said, I'm not going to give you a performance review yet. I do want to play in these a little bit more, and I will write the performance review, and it will be obviously on Sneakers Detroit um, website. But let's go ahead and take a look at the kicks overall. So obviously you can see here, your upper on these is gonna be an orange. Um, it is a very, very bright orange in person. I actually really like it though. If you guys did or did not know, I'm from Tennessee. So um, Tennessee Vols, this is a different type orange, but anything orange, I definitely dig or like when it comes to on sneakers especially. But you can obviously see the backwards Nike swoosh on here. It does have like um, some white speckle. Um, it's almost, you know, it kind of looks, it's a it's a very dark navy. It's almost like a black Nike swoosh, but it's actually more like a very dark uh, navy. It does look like, obviously here you can see your hints of blue going on the midsole there as well. And then taking a look at the back, you can obviously see Giannis's number there on your heel tab, orange and blue, uh, going around the back side of the shoe. On the inside, you're gonna have that uh, same color navy blue Nike swoosh, orange obviously in the upper as well. And then your laces on these, it is gonna be a blue lace. You do have these little, I don't even know what to call them, like lace tabs or whatever you wanna call them, but at the same time, they're kind of, kind of worried about these. You can kind of see on the material here, I don't even know what to call this material really. They seem a little bit cheap. I'm kind of worried that there could be um, some ripping maybe going on if you play in these a ton or a whole, whole lot. So you may want to be careful with that. That's one concern that I've already had with the actual shoe. Now I might have it ripped or anything, but it's just something that I have a concern with overall going forward with the shoe. You can see here on the toe area, it does say Freak 1. As I said, you guys can tell I've already played in these. And then you're going to have that Giannis logo on the tongue and Nike check on there as well. Taking a look at the inside of the tongue, there is nothing on the actual inside of the tongue. 
And on the insole of the shoe, it did say All Bros. So basically this shoe is dubbed or named the All Bros colorway. And basically um, what Giannis had said was is that the shoes run deeper or basically all bros basically run brothers run deeper than just blood and what he's meaning by that is that your teammates are also your brothers close friends can also be your brothers whatever it may be um, but he just i guess feels that his teammates are very close to him so he did make uh, this shoe called the all bros and as i said i didn't want to bring you guys this review before i actually played in them but they came in a little bit Late yesterday, I got off work late, and I had to go straight to uh, playing ball, you know, right after work. So I came home, picked them up, and just went straight to the gym to get to playing in them. But as I said, it does say all bros on the inside, obviously, when you do purchase a pair. So your outsole or traction on these, you do have a little bit of a translucent uh, area in the back here, and then also up here in the front or four uh, foot area. And then overall, so far, I'm going to tell you guys this. The traction worked out really well for me in the first time playing in them. No slipping, anything like that. I really like the shoe overall. As I said, I'm not going to make this a full-on performance review, but I did want to bring you guys this little bit of information. Um, it basically is normally, when I saw images of these, I thought they were going to be a little bit too low. I'm not that big on playing in low-top sneakers most of the time. I'm more like a mid or a high. This reminds me a lot of like the Kyrie 3. So if you did play in the Kyrie 3s overall, that's one of my favorite Kyrie models that they have made to date um, to actually play basketball in. I'm not talking about overall aesthetics and maybe the way the shoe looks, but overall I really do like playing or did like playing in the Kyrie 3. And that's a lot of what this shoe reminds me of so far after playing in them just, you know, obviously one time. Um, but overall, I did like the shoe. As I said, you know, I know I kind of keep repeating myself, but I'm not going to get too deep into the actual performance. But I did want you guys to know that it is a good basketball sneaker overall. If we're going to talk about sizing, um, I went true to size with the size 11 and a half, and I felt really good overall. They're not too long, not too short, not really too narrow, anything like that. So overall, it, I, I would say go true to size if you do want to pick up a pair. I know that there's another colorway coming out. I think maybe it might even be this upcoming weekend, or it could be a little bit further out. I can't even remember. I'd have to check my information for you guys, but it is like a all black and white colorway. And I really think that it's a good looking shoe overall too. But when I saw these, I definitely wanted to have them because of the orange. I thought it definitely stood out, very vibrant and something that you can be obviously seen or stands out on the court. Um, one thing, I don't really know what this is on the side of the shoe, but it does say Charles and Veronica um, right here on the inside of the actual shoe. You can see here on the medial side. So um, I will have to check into that. I should have checked the uh, total information to see what that actually meant. I don't know if that's his parents' names. I don't know if that's some uh, people that meant something obviously in his life for them to go on his shoe. But as I said, it could be a brother and sister. I'm not really sure. But um, sound off in the comment section below if you do know who Charles and Veronica is or the significance of the actual uh, shoe here as well. And then let's check out, yeah, it does say the exact same um, on this side as well. It does say Charles and Veronica on the right inside, uh, medial side of the shoe as well. But overall, guys, let me know your comments uh, in, the sec in the comment section below what you think of the Greek Freak ones. As I said, so far, I think it's a really good shoe. I actually think it's a pretty good looking basketball shoe overall in hand. Um, you know, there was a lot of, I guess, you know, people, there was, there was different comments when first images surfaced of these, whether they were going to like them or not like them. But as I said, overall, once I got them in hand, I think that it is a really good looking basketball shoe overall. But I do want to thank you guys for tuning in and checking out this review video today on the Greek Freak ones. As I said, let me know in the comment section below. Did you pick up a pair of these? Are you waiting for a different colorway um, or, you know, seeing what other colorways service or do drop in the very near future? Uh, just let me know what you think of them overall in the comment section below. But I do want to thank you guys for tuning in today. I really do appreciate it. And we'll be back very, very soon with some more sneakers. Peace.